Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Game Over Entertainment. Today we're talking about Life is Strange once again. We're talking about the character of David Manson and his huge potential role in episode 5. So there are a lot of things about David Manson that we still don't know. Stuff that we still need answers for about this character, just in general, okay? Why does he have all this surveillance set up in his side of his own home? You know, what is he, what is he looking for there? One of the reasons why I think Chloe was now able to play loud music is because he wanted the audio devices to pick up whatever Chloe was saying inside her room. And he loud music would interfere with that surveillance he has going on there you know but that's taking a little bit too far surveillance cameras in your own house that's kind of crazy his harassment of kate would seem unwarranted what was he going through with that was his involvement with nathan prescott we've been showing in the computer files in the principal's office that he has some type of involvement with nathan he's willing to get kicked out of his own home before he actually reveals his secret master plan okay so this is a secret this guy's taking with him all the way okay he's serious about this secret and i just want to find out what's going on with him so this is something we gotta figure out in episode five for sure and uh, as far as david manson he knows everything as we now know from pillaging david's garage he has all this surveillance information on all these characters okay gps signals he know where everybody has been this guy is like a personal nsa okay one man nsa he is really adamant about putting more surveillance devices up in the schools okay that is something he's pushing hard for but what is he gathering all this information for i'm pretty sure this man knows everything about what's going inside the town there's no secret going on in arcadia bay that he doesn't have some awareness of but people let me know your thoughts about this do you think dave manson could play a role maybe a savior role a hero role as far as being a um a military man he's probably is the most dangerous character in here he actually has a gun with him too and definitely he knows how to use it above all else in his in his story and he probably has hand-to-hand -hand combat skills so he can handle himself in those type of situations perhaps he can uh rescue max from the dark room it wouldn't be too far placed to say that he looks at chloe's computer figure out where she's where she's been backtracks to there since chloe does not return home finds max and saves her in that way if he wants to okay i don't know if david manson is a good guy he can still be an antagonist which we don't need any more of those we already got one right on our backs right now but i'm very curious to see what donna is actually going to do with this character they just put so many pieces of the puzzle for him to actually just pick him up and play his little role in episode five We'll have to see how that goes man so people let me know your thoughts about this do you think david manson could have a big substantial impact of episode five and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to thumbs it up okay thank you for watching and stay tuned for a life is strange episode four stream before we get the release of episode five it's gonna be next monday at 4 p.m central standard time yep it's gonna be a little earlier than my normal streams because after that's over i'm gonna download episode five and i'm gonna get right into that okay no delay but yeah, people, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Worst hacker ever. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop.